Hello and welcome to Asia Calling, your window on Asia. In today's program, the Indonesian government vows to free thousands of mentally ill people who are chained up by their families. And we visit the Pakistani city where nearly all the world's footballs are made. Also, the Japanese aid agency has a master plan for fixing Yangon's traffic problems. Welcome to the program, I'm Rebecca Hinchke. The Indonesian government says across the country nearly 20,000 mentally ill people are locked up or chained up by their families. The practice known as pasung is often the last choice for desperate families who don't know how to treat mental illness. The government is vowing that in five years they will all be free with adequate mental health care. Emma Watson went to see this ambitious program in action in the Chianjo region of West Java. When August was 17, his behaviour started to change and his family says he spoke to animals. They thought he was under a spell and locked him inside this shack where he stayed for four years. Agus's parents visited a traditional doctor for help, but they didn't know where else to turn. They had never heard about mental illnesses. Locking him up seemed to them the only option. Waktu Agus di Pasung, itu gimana perasaannya? Kesal gitu. Kesal ya? Hmm. Rasanya pengen ngapain? Pengen keluar gitu. Hmm. Bilang nggak sama orang-orang orang, sama keluarga? Bilang. Minta dilepas gitu. Hmm. Terus dengerin nggak? Dengerin. Dengerin. Mereka dengerin? Hmm. Tapi nggak dilepas juga? Nggak. This is how Nur Hamid found him. He took him to a hospital where he was diagnosed with schizophrenia and treated. The best dari Pasung udah berapa lama? Ayah satu tahun. Satu tahun ya. Hmm. Terus gimana perasaannya? Senang? Senang gitu. With the help of daily medicine, Agus now lives with his parents and helps around the house. He is one of 1,500 people who have been freed by Nur Hamid's non-government group, Komunitas Sehat Jiwa. The group founded in 2009 is made up of volunteers who all have a mental illness. Nur Hamid has a deep desire to help those in need. Siapakah orang lain? Itu kan, kita tidak. Saya garis bawahi hanya mereka yang dengan gangguan kejiwaan. He says one of the major challenges is getting the Indonesian community to care about mental health. Seperti yang dijelaskan tadi, tingkat ekonomi, tingkat pendidikan, tingkat apa jarak, pemahaman masyarakat itu juga sangat mempengaruhi. Malah ada salah seorang kepala daerah ya, kepala desa di depan camat waktu itu saya sedang melakukan uh, sosialisasi tentang kesehatan jiwa. Kata seorang kepala desa, ngapain ngurus, ngurusin orang gila? Orang yang tidak juga, eh, yang tidak gila juga masih banyak yang harus kita urus. 34-year-old Zirikin has been locked in and out of this shack since he was 20 years old. His father says he started acting strangely after visiting a traditional doctor. Mohon nyanak obat di situ teh. His parents took him to healers and religious leaders, but his behavior didn't change, so they locked him up again. He has been in here for over six months. Doing this, has been illegal in Indonesia since 1977. But the government admits the practice is still widespread across the country. 
with around 18,000 mentally ill still chained or locked up. It's a too big number. So the government is working with groups like Norhamets to get mental health care into rural areas. They're going to provide mental health care services in almost half of its hospitals across the country. They can treat, they can uh, recover, they can uh, living together with community, they can uh, productive again. It's like that. Kikik's story is proof of that. Nurhamid found him locked up and took him to hospital. He is now on medication and is able to work to support his three children. But less than 1% of the country's health budget is spent on mental health and half of the country's psychiatrists are based in the capital, Jakarta. Kendala masih terus berjalan dan kami tidak akan tidak akan berhenti. Seberapa besar pun kendala kami akan terus berjuang. Kemudian karena memang faktor utama berharga tidak hanya seorang manusia itu adalah terga, sangat tergantung pada kesehatan jiwanya. Sirikin's father remains hopeful that soon he will not have to restrain his son. Hari putus dengan anak kerajaan. For Asia Calling, this is Emma Watson in Chianjur, West Java.